I'm gonna do the intro to the video now. This is not for you, Twitch chat. This is for the YouTube. Okay, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, here's the popcorn. Get the popcorn. What's up, guys, and welcome to another video. Yeah, I'm stuttering because we've got some things to talk about today. Unfortunately, and fortunately for us, we've got an update on our hands. 343 has released an update, and I wanna go over my thoughts on this update as a whole, and it's gonna be a little bit tough for me, I will say. This update is both amazing and also both very sad and very real to me. And uh, in front of you, you can see the roadmap that was given to us as a Halo community. All right, so the one thing I wanna point out is the fact that November 8th, we are not getting season three. Instead, we are getting a winter update, okay? That winter update is instead of the season three Echoes Within, and uh, we're gonna get two maps that are made within Forge. We're gonna get co-op uh, co campaign and mission replay. We're gonna get Forge beta, and we're gonna get a free 30 tier battle pass, um, as well as match XP at some point, a uh, new game type in the Covert One Flag. Quality of life improvements. And uh, you know what? Let's just put all of the rest aside. I'll talk about Forge beta a little bit later, because that's obviously the biggest point for me, but I wanna talk about quality of life improvements. I hate, hate this. I hate quality of life improvements. Why? Because I need specifics, okay? Quality of life improvements is such a vast statement. And in the video that they made, which I wanna say, and I will say, amazing, I love it. They don't go over details on what those quality of life improvements are. They go over UI and UX changes, stuff like that but like what are quality of quality of life improvements for me are it's a wide scale of like fixing you know potentially fixing desync that's my quality of life on the game of halo um it's it's potentially fixing input lag on keyboard and mouse it's potentially you know bringing up performance in general giving us full screen there's a lot of things and i really just want to know what those things are because those are more important to me than most everything on this list to be honest. Um, but I wanna go over real quick Forge beta. I think Forge, and I will say this straight up, I think Forge is going to save this for us. When I say that it's both good and bad, I think the good is Forge. I think that what Forge is going to give us as a community is literally priceless. Because we're in a we're in a point right now where three four three, and I want to and I want to make this very clear, okay? Although I'm sad about this update, three four three is actually being honest with us at this point. Is the honest is is you know is is your dad saying you you know he doesn't love your mom anymore? Sad, yes, but it's honest. They're getting a divorce. It's an honest thing. Why did I compare those two? Don't I? I don't know. But they're honest, right? Honesty is what we need. Instead of them fighting every single day, you know, whatever. I don't ever condone divorce, by the way. But, you know, I really do think that maybe them telling us all these things is better than us just kind of scurrying on by and thinking, ah, oh, everything's going to be fine. It's okay. Dad's, got, Dad's gone for milk. He's not coming back, you know? Like, I'd rather just know, you know what I mean? And, and I, I think that 343 finally talking to us about this stuff is good, but it's also brought the realization that we're in trouble. <laughs> so going back to Forge, I think that this is huge because guess what? No longer is it in, is it in 343's hands to give us the content we need. We now have that in our hands, in the community's hands. And even the developers and the members in the video said this and we'll go over it. They said this exact thing. You know, these, our fans are dedicated. We are. We're either dedicated or a bunch of idiots, but we love Halo. You know, at the end of the day, we love the game. Okay? So, Forge Beta, absolutely huge for us and for this game. I truly do think, I truly do think that this will carry us on to Season 3. And that goes to my next point, which is the Season 3 has been delayed till March. So if you count the months, which gosh, man, I hate counting the months. 
we're going on a 10 month season two. 10 months on season two. It's very rough, dude. It's very unfortunate. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I understand. At the end of the day, they did explain most things and kind of talked to, to us about why it was happening. But it is it is extremely rough. Um, in season three, though, let's talk about what we're getting when it comes to March. We're getting new two two new maps that are dev made maps. We're getting the bandit which they said they wanted to make a closer range weapon. I don't like the description they gave it, by the way, on the... I was kind of hoping for, like, an open description, like, hey, this is one variant of the Bandit, but we, we have many more, you know? But it wasn't that. It was the Bandit, kind of like the Reach rifle, but much better up close. And I was like, oh, goodness me. Um, not happy, but we'll, we'll see what I, when I actually use the, the, weapon, the weapon in my hands. Shot screen. Obviously, we all know about that. We, we found out about this again. The new 100-tier battle pass. Custom game browser. Once again, the bandit's cool. The shroud screen's cool. My most enjoyed or my most important feature of Season 3 is this custom game browser. Why? Because it ties into Forge. Because everyone that is making those Forge creations from, no, uh, from November 8th to March 7th or whenever Forge comes out throughout this November 8th to March 7th window. I believe it's November 8th is actually coming out, so never mind. Um, all those will be realized and will be displayed for all of us to see on March 7th. So potentially, by March 7th, we could have an actual Battle Royale in the game. That's not a joke. We could have a Battle Royale game type in Halo by March 7th. Think about that for a minute. That's kind of cool, right? I really do trust the community that much. I think the community has the the uh, I that has the uh, the creativity and the skill to get us there, especially with the fact that in Forge you can literally program the game with script, like using whatever Java to C plus. I don't know the programming language they can use, but regardless, they can use programming language to make things happen in Forge, which is incredible. the 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 sky is the limit with Forge, which is amazing. That's awesome. Very, very excited about that. Um, but very excited for, regardless if it's a BR or not, very excited for what people create in Forge throughout that period of time. And again, the custom game browser is what I'm kind of expecting there. Of course, there was nothing mentioned in the Battle Royale. And I just want to make clear, I know there's people, okay? I'm very aware that there's people on my YouTube, in my Twitch, that are part of the Halo community that don't want a Battle Royale. I think it could be great. There are a lot of problems that I think need to be fixed before that comes out, but I think it could be great. I really hope that we're getting this type of roadmap that is kind of like sparse because of the Battle Royale. I hope that that's the case. There's gotta be a reason why either we have a very severe lack of employees or, which, which sounds like we do. We're gonna watch back the video right now. Like when they talk and they say, yeah, we couldn't get campaign co-op out because we had to pull people for this. What? Shouldn't there be a campaign team and then a multiplayer? Microsoft, can we have some more money? Like, hey, Daddy, Daddy Gates, can we get some money, dude? Like, can we hire like like a lot of employees? Um, look at this right here, dude. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten studios working on one game. I'm just making a point because I don't think we have. We probably have what? Three, maybe 10 full studios working on Modern Warfare 2. The, the way games are nowadays, we need help. We need this amount of help, dude. And you're like, well, 343 is, dude, I understand. But I also see this number and I say, can we get a look? Can we get some allocated funds pushed over here? <sighs> I don't know, man. That's gonna do it for this video. Those are my overall thoughts on the update from 343. Of course, I wanna hear your side. What are your thoughts on the update? Put it down in the comment section below and make sure you like this video and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on, turning on notifications as well if you wish. And if you want the best settings on Halo Infinite, this video right here will give you them, okay? If you've already watched this video, watch it again. You probably missed the setting. I get 240 FPS every single game because I watched this video after I made it, and yeah, it's made me a great player. So check it out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.